Hey guys, Titsano here. Today we have another Lego set review. Today we have Lloyd's Journey from Lego Ninjago. So, if you don't know, I'm a huge Lego Ninjago fan. So, let's begin the review. So, the first main figure is Lloyd, of course. And this is the Season 11 Ninjago version of Lloyd. But, for some reason, it doesn't give him the correct mask piece. It just gives him this, like, black mask. But... I don't have Lloyd's hair piece, so that's pretty cool. Gets this like little like fire staff, I guess you could call it. That's a cool weapon. And then he also gets a silver katana. Then he's got his hair and then a little mask. There's the back of him. Pretty cool minifigure, in my opinion. And then he's got this like weird thing to hold his sword. He has two face prints. I'll show you those. So this is the one I had on. And here's the other one where he's smiling. And then here is the back printing. <laughs> so, I do really like this set. Really good in my opinion. Anyway, the next thing. You've got this. Pretty sure he's called the Blizzard Samurai. Haven't seen this in the show yet. But he's got this really, really cool dual molded helmet. Like, it's so, like, like, Lego put a lot of work into these. That was all I'm going to say. He's got this nice, like, sky blue colored katana. And he's got this, like, samurai suit on. And then he's got two faces. He has this one, which looks like Sans. And he's got this one, which does not look like Sans. And then I'll take that off and show you his actual printing. together really cool figure in my opinion and then probably the best part of the entire set which is exclusive to it is this like wolf like thing like it has like three tails it's like really really cool in my opinion it's got, like a wolf face and the head moves up and down so that's a really cool figure and it has feet so it can actually click into studs it's got two studs on its back as well next we have this little sword build with just the sword I guess Lloyd has to get. And I'm going to say one thing. So, I watched Just Too Good do a review on this. And he said, this damages the sword. That's because if you put it in... Yeah, so, yeah, let me get it out first. Give so, one second. Alright. So, once it's out, when you first put it in, it's fine. Like, you put it in, like, on vertical ones. Or, like, opposites. But then once it goes all the way in, it can move to the adjacent ones. So once it's at the adjacent ones, if you pull it out then, then you're going to damage it. So basically you just need to kind of jiggle it a little bit, and then it'll move right back in to the um, like, um, opposite thing. So then you pull it out right and, easily, right and easily. That's how you don't damage it. So that's just a cool little build. And then the main build in this set is this little like blizzard... I not really blizzard, more like just this little fortress thing. It's got a lot of these nice little shield pieces. And it's got a crossbow at the top. It's got these little ice pieces all over, ice spikes, shurikens on it. It's look pretty cool. Oopsie. Almost knocked the studs out of there. And on the back, it's got some more builds, some little play area. That's where you can put the minifigure on. Let's put him on there. Now, yeah. then you can have him shoot at Lloyd. And then it comes with this little thing which shoots. I'm not going to shoot it now because they go flying everywhere and then it comes with two extra ammunition for it. Well technically it comes with three because of the extra pieces but these are the ones that are acknowledged in the set. So that's a fun little build. These can also adjust. So can these. So overall this set is probably one of my favorite um, Ninjago 2019 sets. I'm not sure what my favorite is right now, but this set is definitely one of them, especially for this wolf figure. Not really a wolf, but who knows what it is. Anyway, that's it for the review, and see you next time. Goodbye.